Uh, 10 years of Star Citizen development in 10 minutes from, who is this? Not Gemini is the name, Not Gemini. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put the link of the video to you guys in the beginning. So I'll put it in there as well before we uh, start it out. Let's watch it. I think it needs to turn it up a little. There we go. 2012 Kickstarter, eight employees. All right. Demo levels. 58 employees to get the hangar module. Yo, if only our characters work like that. Okay, these UIs were significantly better. Like, this Arena Commander was when Arena Commander was in its prime, I think, as far as UI goes. You can see where every shot is hitting the enemy Hornet and everything. It's so good. See that? Up there? You could literally see where the shots are hitting. It was it was amazing. I mean, it was probably, like, way overblown and all that stuff um, for, for everything, but... Yeah, it was just a better UI than we have now. The thing is, this was not the first city. But... The helmet flip, yep. introduction of star marine this is not the star marine any of us are playing this was the star marine from another company that never got used remember this commercial that's unrealistic people who lost their mind Second iteration of Shubin. That's a squadron thing, right? AI test bed. Yo, are we really talking about Star Citizen development and AI like, doing anything? that gun oh it was the Santa ball gun look look guys it's xylo xylo stream sniping again coming soon the nick's landing zone preview so by the way this was in uh what was this 2015 when did nick's drop 2017 right or 2018 Something like that. It was like insane distance from the coming soon at Nick's Landing Zone preview. It was literally a meme that we made. Yeah, yeah. Selby knows.
Kamare battles. Remember this? Remember those? the moment the game failed it was right here this was the moment that made everything amazing and everything bad all at the same time this was the moment right here the scope of star citizen changed completely at this moment took to get female characters in the game. People were losing their mind. Remember this? Okay, remember that- Dude. Remember this thing? This, like this is this shows you where Chris's mind was when developing this game. He was making Freelancer. He was making Freelancer just prettier. And then something happened. Right? Like that's what like look at this. He was making Freelancer and then something clicked. And now I don't know what he's making. Right? And that's why everybody's like kind of like, what the hell's going on? Is because we kind of knew what we were getting before this point. And then now we have no idea what we're getting. We happened, we wanted more? You're probably right. And then so did he. In turn, so did he. Then this started happening, right? Did I just see? Who is that? That's me. I was at the LA office playing uh, Star Marine at that point. And um, this moment, I will tell you guys without breaking any NDA, is the reason why I know this game isn't a scam. And I know people work so fucking hard on this game and care so much about it okay and this is the moment why i'm like um chris roberts is somebody special but i also see him on camera and like kind of doing silly shit but when he was at work working i saw it dude i saw it and he was in inspired inspiring and and was just uh, it, it, that was a special moment. And I don't think I'll ever get to have a moment like that again because of, um, my commentary on the project and stuff, but I'll never forget that moment. And that moment is probably what will forever instill some level of confidence in the project in Chris and in its developers, their actions since then have been 
different. That's not you. That's Torque 17. I don't know what you're talking about, okay? But their their actions since then have been um, hard to have faith in, right? It's the, the pace of development, what is shown in a video versus what we have, all that stuff. It's hard, but to see the workings and see certain things, I'll always have a little bit of confidence left. Remember data pads that we haven't picked up or done anything with yet? Crusader Moons, 500 employees now. ships right see a lot of ships but i don't see a lot of tools and things to do and things to play with this is putting sand in the sandbox but not giving you a shovel or water to create a castle with it. show that because that's not what Hurston looks like. <laughs> Squadron 42 vertical slice was interesting. Hey, by the way, we made at least one jank mission for you. Squadron 42 videos. This is a, a bit, feels a, a slightly deceptive. So, what I see is them showing like a bunch of like RD instead of actual progress. Mining! Remember Reco Battaglia? when things started getting better i think the first planet hurston mission started to tie together a little bit the the biggest issue for me with star citizen is you can you get or a video like this is you can make a video like this and see see all the things they've done but if they don't communicate and don't mesh well together and don't create a an overall um experience then you know if they're all these segmented features that you add in like mining not working together with cargo hauling or just general yeah shops but you can't sell to them stuff like that and i think that's what i'm feeling more positive about star citizen with in in the most recent times is they're starting to do that they're starting to tie things together and caring about that <laughs> We 
We can't do that. Now watch all the visuals. Are you really showing theaters of war? Are you really showing theaters of war like that was an actual thing in development that actually happened and not a complete meme? What the hell? The jump point? Most of this video is their trailer development. The last update on Squadron 42 is October 2020. Is that true? It said last update. Ship to ship docking. The gas giant crusader. Pyro 3. Um, we've come here for a mission to acquire an artifact. Just video is copium. Um, and uh, you'll be it, making it your way is, down but it's to good, a trading it's post. It's good on perspective. So wanted to uh, just give you a quick overview and then we can start talking about the planet. Yeah, Pyro 3 is um, yeah, just a, a terrestrial planet. It has a very thin, uh, breathable atmosphere, uh, but it's still pretty inhospitable, very cold. We don't get clouds uh, like see, this, though, those right? They added clouds to Microtech, but we don't get this, do we? I don't think I've ever seen, like, this view when going to Microtech yet. It's in the clouds, but, uh, but yeah, very, very pretty looking. So this is uh, the first time we're actually seeing clouds above like, the clouds uh, a terrestrial awesome, planet. But you know, we went like through this. quite a few iterations of uh, forms. Uh, what we ultimately ended upon was something that felt quite uh, uh, quite dramatic, uh, still believable in terms of uh, how the wind cool would video, have shaped though. them. So I, I think videos like this are really good for your perspective on, on where you were when you bought the game, where it is now. Um, they you know, were pretty consistently showing the number of employees and stuff like that. And, and the thing is, is... Um, yeah, I'll go back to what I said earlier. It's, it's very nice to see them build a bunch of different little features in a vacuum, but it doesn't matter until they all start communicating to each other. And we'll just need to keep waiting for things like that. Um, things like the major important features in order, like the glue, right? The glue is the, um, quantum economy, right? The glue is server meshing environments where more players can be in one location at the same time. Uh, obviously, client improvements with like Vulcan and things like that. That's the glue. Uh, orgs, uh, you know, better better interactions with with other players in the game. That's the glue we need in order to enjoy the sandbox. And I didn't see really the, any of that from this video. I saw a lot of visual and trailers and things like that. And um, unfortunately, that, that doesn't mean that Star Citizen's development is going really great, but I thought it was a, a really cool idea. 10 years of Star Citizen development in 10 minutes, and, and I enjoyed the video, but I don't know. Part of it is sad, and part of it is cool, and part of it was frustrating, and that's what Star Citizen's development was, so, and still is. So I guess it kind of worked and was a good video.